Welcome to part four of this video. So we are now moving on to the second report, um, which will ask you to calculate a query at runtime. Okay. So you've done a few of these in my class a while ago. Um, you may have forgotten them. It may come back to you. Now, the thing is, what you need to do is just keep practicing. So as I'm uploading these videos over our holidays, just keep practicing. And the more you practice, the better you'll get and the more confident you'll become, which is the most important. So, um, now, what it wants you to do is produce a report which contains a new field called cost, which is calculated at runtime. Now, if you remember what I said, runtime is a query, okay? And it's when you're gonna create a new field. So this field will calculate the price multiplied by the real uh, quantity, okay? So, now, what we need to do is all our tables here are closed, our reports are closed, everything's closed. So we're going to go to create and just create a query. So we're just creating a simple query. So add, close, drag the fields down. Right, there we are. So all our fields are dragged down now. So now we need to go over to a blank field because remember we are calculating a new field. So what we need to do first of all is to square brackets. So square brackets. So if you remember it says price multiplied by the real dark quantity. So price. And make sure that you spell it correctly and put capital letters in. Close the square brackets because we're calculating this. Sorry, square brackets. Times it by open a square brackets. Sorry, keep opening the wrong ones. Reorder. Okay, close. Now, when we click down here, it's going to come up with a default field name. So we're just going to um, rename that cost. Okay, right, so. Now, what we want to do is format this to two decimal places. Now, access can get a little bit funny with this. So, just right click here, properties, and you can see the decimal places hasn't come up. So, just close it for now. And then, is all you do is just run the query, then access recognizes it. So, you can see the cost here. So, we've got the price times by the reorder. So, 850 times 50. Is, that should be about right okay so go back to view and right click on this again properties and you can see the decimal places now has come up so we're just going to select that to two okay so if you come up earlier fine do it then doesn't matter close it okay right now we need to carry on with our query here so it says so we've done this now done this so it says only show the fields category, country, code, product, stock, realder, and cost in their labels in full. So let's go right from the start. So we want category, we want country, we want code, we want product, and we want stock, and we want realder, and we want the price. We don't want special, we don't want notes, and we want the cost. Okay, so that's, that's showing. So now what we need to show is show only the records where the stock is less than 50. So we go to stock. So that's less than 50. And the product is not a special order. So when we go to special here, okay, we don't type in not, we type in no. Okay, so run that. Here are our records. Okay, so that's all good to go now. So now where it says fits onto a single page, we know this is talking about the report. So right click, close, um, sorry, save. And we always call our report by its title. Okay, so let's look for the title. It's right at the top of the page, supplier order list. So, supplier order list. There we go. Press OK. It's done now. So, now I'm going to close that. So, it's now closed. Okay. So, now, what we're going to do is we're going to start creating our report. So, we're going to create. 
and we go to report and we go to report wizards because it's always the quickest way to do it okay so um, now we're going to select a new query here which is this one and the only ones it wants us to show is category country code product stock reorder price and cost there we go i could have moved them all over but i like to double check and go to next and go to next now it says sort the data into sending order of product ascending order of product okay here we go done and go to next so now it says nothing further there hang on is it portrait or is it landscape let's double check later orientation and landscape there we go okay next and supply order list that's the title and finish so here we've got our report now we need to do some further work on this okay but you can see that the product at the top is the one that they're asking for okay so now we've, uh, we've produced our report as you can see right um now you can see that there's certain fields that are cut off some have got too much space so what we need to do from here is close print preview view and then go to layout view okay so what that will do is you can see that some of these um these fields here oops do have far too much room okay so we need to minimize those down and the same here with the records okay you can see here that they've got far too much space so hold down control so you've got the field and you've got the record and you should be able to move move those over sometimes it can be a little bit awkward to move them okay so i think that's okay as it is so actually i'm going to move this back just a little bit there we go right and i'm going to move this one down here as well so you can see the these can take a little bit of time But it's the time you do need to take in the exam because if you're um, so I'm going to select the field, hold down control, select the records. If you hand in your report and it's not tidied up like this, you're going to lose the marks. So it's not worth really risking those marks, okay? Especially as you worked so hard to get it right. So I'm moving the, these over. And the same this one, knocking this down here. There's far too much room there. Bring that over. And the same with the cost. Okay, just over here. So like I said, you can space them out a bit as well. If you think, okay, that looks a bit stupid, you need to move that over a bit. Obviously, you can do... Just like I said, take that little bit of time, okay, that you need. Right. Okay, that's enough messing about, I think, for me, because obviously I need to get on with this and show you the rest. Right. Um, now, next thing, let's take a look. What does it want? So, we've done this. We've done that. We've got that. Right. Calculate the total cost, okay? Right. This should be fairly straightforward to do once you've done a few. Now, some of you may remember how to do this and some of you may not, okay? So, right. Right, so as the label cost of order to left as cost to right, it's fine. So from this, I'm going to go to, um, away from page setup, I'm going to go to view and I'm going to go to design view. Right, so this needs to be, I believe, here at the bottom of the page. Right, like I said, if we get it wrong, it don't matter. We can copy and paste it to where it's supposed to go. So please don't worry, okay? These things can happen. Right, so what we need to do is we need this time a text label. Because if you remember what I said in the last video, text label will allow a formula. So I'm going to draw my formula here, okay? So 
text 19 now what this says is on the exam paper it says um, calculates the cost two decimal places blah 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 we've got that cost of stock order so this needs to say cost of stock order okay so we've got that right now we might need to move that over just a little bit here okay there we are right so here I'm going to put in equals sum I'm going to open up the square brackets put inside the round brackets and close the square brackets so what I'm going to do here is move this over close the square brackets right what it wants me to do is it wants me okay to calculate the cost of the order in the cost column okay so equal sum and I do believe I type in cost okay so gonna go to view ah, it doesn't like something so I've done something wrong okay so I'm gonna fix my error so let's take a look okay and I've made the most simple mistake in the world and that's how I've got my brackets the wrong way around okay so easy easy mistake to make now the reason why is because the square brackets go where the field name goes and the round brackets go in place of a formula like you would in a spreadsheet so let's go back to view let's take a look so you can see I've made a mistake you can see I put it in the wrong place never fear doesn't matter okay go to design simply select both of them hold down control okay and control X and then I just go down to the bottom here from page footer control V there we are it's there okay so we just need to move it now not a problem like I said I make these errors okay there we are it's there and now what they want is they want me to put my um, name candidate number to the left if you remember taking a look here name candidate number to the left of the footer okay so I'll get text label and just simply type in your name okay candidate and make sure you type in the right details oops center there we go six there we go right so right um, so let's say report now our report is on one page but it's still a problem with the error there it's stock order it doesn't like something so I've got to fix that okay just realize what it is I'm supposed to put it in the report footer okay so once again made a silly mistake but no worries so all you do is you just put it in the right place okay I'm doing these videos naturally I'm not pretending to you that I'm superwoman and I don't make mistakes because even after years of teaching I still do I still make mistakes sometimes I still sometimes get things wrong okay but the good thing about these videos is, is that if you do make this mistake I can show you what you've done wrong okay and you might make the same mistake as well okay so I'm not going to pretend to you that I'm perfect and um, here we go so you can see it's all right now okay so I'm not going to pretend to you that I'm perfect and that I don't make errors because I do I do okay so that's one of the reasons why I want to show you these videos and I want you to follow them so you can see it's all on one page and I've fixed my errors I've checked things I've made sure the layout is correct okay and um, and we're good to go you will get marks for that okay because the correct marks because the um, formula is in the right place your candidate details in the right place um, the record that was supposed to come to the top has come to the top and those are all the things that they're checking for okay if you need to change your format here to currency before if you want to do that it's already on currency do it now okay right so the video is running out in about 20 seconds okay so click on part 5 to see the third report